In this video, we're going to break down the differences between training, challenge, and assessment mode so that you have a true understanding. When you dive into any of our HVAC courses, you understand that course outline, how you can go through it, and why you should go through each section. Training mode is, at the highest level, going to be the most guided. You know what the issue is. You know what the fault is. You would have just watched a walkthrough video of our subject matter expert going through the fault. So now we want you to be aware of how you yourself will go through the sim and understand each of the actions in that procedural approach that we focus on here at Interplay Learning. So you go through a systematic you know, analysis of the system as you're trying to find the, the answer to the problem. So we have you go through each issue in training mode. Challenge mode is going to be random. We're going to pull away some of that support mechanism, but you're still going to be given some procedural guidance. But once again, you're still going to have some tools to help you out along the way. And lastly, know that assessment mode is that full-on service call-like mode, totally random. You've got to pull out your tools, no procedure guide. It's on you to solve the situation and to, and to resolve the comfort complaint. So let's dive in and I'm going to go through one of each of these and so that you kind of can understand and see the differences between all three of these types of faults. So here I'm going to be diving into the IFM capacitor fault. Some things I want you to see. One, I launched using the desktop icon on the far left side, not the VR one that looks like goggles. And then I want you to know that I, I expanded my app screen to, the, to take up the whole screen just so I have a full visibility of what all's going on. So let's talk about the major things you're going to see in a training mode. This video is going a little fast, but I think that this just allows us uh, for this video not to take up 30 minutes. So in the top right corner, every single time we go through a step, the correct answer is going to be in orange. That's critical because in the training mode, we want to guide you along. We don't want you to make any mistakes. Another major thing you're going to see in when you're putting your probes in, we're going to have the probes highlighted. The, where you're going to put the probe is highlighted in orange. That makes sure you know exactly you know, what part of the piece of equipment you're going to be putting the probes on. Those are going to disappear in challenge and assessment mode. Also, whenever you're having to click on something, in this case like that blower capacitor, we're going to highlight it orange so you know that that's what you're going to be working on. Once again, when we pull up the multimeter, we're going to put the multimeter on the exact level, in this case, the capacitance. We've set up the multimeter for you so that it, you don't have to be thinking about, hey, okay, I need to check capacitance versus uh, voltage. That's going to be done for you. Also, whenever you have to do things like reconnect or disconnect uh, a piece of equipment, you're going to double click on it, and we're going to give you some options in the top right. So I've gone through the whole fault. I've, I've successfully done it. I've clicked finish. I do want to end the simulation. So now we're going to be moving on to a challenge mode. And the challenge mode, you're going to see some similarities between the, uh, the, between the training mode and the challenge mode, but there's also going to be some critical differences. One, I have no idea what this fault is, but I do know it's in this section because we're in indoor components. It's going to be a challenge mode related to indoor component issues. So it's a randomly chosen fault of one of our indoor component issues. So some major differences. One is you can see in the top procedure guide, I'm not telling you what the answer is. Like it, it all this is 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 just a a big tree diagram, but we've broken it down into piece by piece. We don't tell you to go, you know, is it yes or no? It's not highlighted orange. You've got to make those decisions yourself. Another main point is as you see as I'm moving these probes around, that nothing's highlighted orange. This is now all on you. You could be putting these probes anywhere to do this analysis. But since you've done activities before in training mode, you should know what's the line side of this capacitor or, or indoor fan relay. You know, you should know what's the secondary side of the transformer. But you've got to do that analysis. You've got to make the right decisions in the procedure guide. Those are the two main parts of the challenge mode that's so important. But we're still guiding you along with a procedure guide. You can't get so far off track. So there's still some guidance, but also, once again, I have no idea what this fault is in a challenge mode. So, you know, it does have that service call-like mentality, but we do mix in some guidance through that procedure guide. So we're still giving you some scaffolding. It's still, you know, but you are truly actually on yourself to make the vast majority of the decisions. And also, this is where, you know, take this 
type thought process when you're in the field. If you actually have a true troubleshooting guide or, uh, you know, manufacturers giving you a troubleshooting guide, just realize it's no different than what you're seeing here. You're basically looking at each step in that tree diagram, asking yourself yes or no. We've just out, you know, laid it out in, in what we feel is a format that is, is more approachable uh, to the learner. So in this case, I got through the challenge mode fault. I'm showing on the left-hand side. You sometimes will make a mistake in the challenge mode, and you'll get an X on that left-hand side. In this case, I didn't. Just know that you've got to get 80% of all steps correct in order to pass a challenge mode. All right, let's dive into an assessment mode. Oh, look, that's my congratulations. Those are my points for the challenge mode. I just was going through this quick, trying to dive in. So here's an assessment mode fault. And, you know, this is what you're leading up to. You've practiced all those indoor component issues. You're very confident in the procedure guide. But now we are randomly, you know, choosing a fault. This is service call practice. The main thing I want to show is this is how you move around. In the bottom right corner, it is on you to teleport around the entire unit, or, you know, in the entire scene. It's on you to jump from place to place. But, hey, you've worked the procedure guide. We know we started the thermostat. Then we go check the indoor unit. Then we go check the outdoor unit which one's on, which one's off. So that's just telling us the information. Okay, they're both off. Let's do some analysis. We know we're going to be starting at the transformer. We've got to pull out the multimeter. Here's a critical thing. We no longer are putting the multimeter where it needs to go. You've got to do that yourself. So here we go. I'm, I'm, now I turn the multimeter on to check for volts. I'm checking the primary side of the transformer. I'm not getting a reading. Now, once again, I am by no means a expert in the world of HVAC troubleshooting, and I'm going to admit I made an error when doing this, but uh, I, I just want to see, hey, I got a zero volts, and then so I, I went back and started looking at the thermostat, but there's going to be one tricky thing that I forgot to do, and once again, that's, you know, that's why we, you know, that's why we play the game. That's why we practice, so that we actually don't make these mistakes in the field. So I, I, I tried to update the thermostat. I, I wasn't thinking about a loose wire on the transformer. I kind of know this is where you see I got stuck. I'm like, oh shucks. Uh, I, you know, I'm no, no cool air is coming out. I tried to fix the thermostat. It, you know, nothing's happening. And so just to let you know how this works in assessment mode, after jumping around, I was kind of poking around. I was like, oh, okay, what I was seeing if thinking about what else I could do. And then I ended up ending the simulation. And here, this is a critical thing. You're going to sometimes make a mistake. You're going to not correct it. Uh, properly, and I'm going to submit my answer, and in this case, try again. Ah, that's what I did. I forgot to look into the wire of the transformer. That was my issue. I tried to fix the thermostat, and it was a, a simple procedural step that I forgot, but hey, now I actually, and, and feel free, you don't have to watch the end of this video, but I got a little mad. I wanted to try another assessment mode. Got the speeding through here pretty quick, but a little quicker than I than I realized, but I said, "Hey, I'm going to jump into this sim. I want to do another fault, uh, and and so, but and so here I'm actually going through another randomized selected scenario. I've sped this up, and I just want you to know that uh, you know, in the end, I didn't know what was going on, but I had to, you know." random fault had to jump around uh, using my teleports in the bottom right and guess what I got it ta-da see I um, you know my my practice and everything I've been going through actually paid off a little bit so thank you for watching this video excited for you to keep continuing along as you can see as I go through this course outline you know now I would be doing this for all the outdoor components mechanical faults leading up to the final assessment mode this is the culmination of the entire course where you have random faults being thrown at you from all different sections this is where you're you're true learning comes to fruition and just know that in this case to complete the course you've got to do 10 assessment mode faults but you could keep coming back and do more you don't have to stop there you'll still continue to get points each time you complete one of these assessment modes thank you all for watching always feel free to reach out with additional questions we want to know where you guys need additional help where you need to learn more on how to use our sims and even additional courses that you want to see created by us here at interplay so thanks have a good day